Hello and welcome to Your California Life. I'm your host, Desiree Shepard. We've got a lot of hot topics for you this morning, including Elon Musk buying into Twitter, the infamous Will Smith Oscar slap, but what does this mean for these public figures legally? Ashton and Price, a personal injury law for firm, is joining us this morning, and its founding partner, Craig Ashton, with law has his Lollywood take on these latest hot <laughs> topics. Hi, Craig. Good morning. It's the National Pet Day, so I have to give a bark out to Ludwig and Lucy, my two oh. dogs. I know they're watching. All right, shout out to Goodwick <laughs> and Lucy. That's awesome. And Craig, we learned last week that Elon Musk has bought some stake into Twitter. What does that mean legally? So here's the thing, the people kind of get this wrong because there's a First Amendment right to free speech, which is the government can't stop you from speaking. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, if you want to go out in your front yard and basically say something that's uh, really disparaging, you can do that and the government can't stop you. But when it comes to private business, private businesses make those decisions all the time. Mm -hmm. So Twitter's a private business, and there's been discussion as to whether or not they're improperly silencing some people, especially in politics, and whether or not there should be something to be done. So Elon Musk is stepping in because he's been in a private setting, a very vocal proponent of free discourse in a democracy. Uh, he is being sued by the SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange Commission, as a result of saying that he was going to take the stock uh, private at 420, which is a euphemism for marijuana use. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, in his response, he used Eminem to say, let me be and let me be me. <laughs> he, he actually took a phrase out of Eminem's uh, from Slim Shady wow. <laughs> in his response to the lawsuit. So the point is, Elon Musk has a lot of fun with free speech. So him buying a stake in Twitter means that he will probably have either directly because today we learned that he's not going to take a spot on the board of directors right. or indirectly through his 9% stake in Twitter to determine whether or not there's social policy in regards to truncating speech, whether or not it's defamatory, whether or not it's hurtful, whether or not it's political, whether or not he's going to free that up a little bit within their social standard policy. Yeah, and so for people, I mean, for those of us who aren't billionaires and can purchase stake <laughs> into Twitter, for users, Twitter users, does this, does this impact them at all with Elon Musk kind of having a stake in this? Well, I mean, he's got a big voice, right? Mm -hmm. I and mean, he's the richest man in the world. And ultimately, he's now go he's also going to be a witness in the Johnny Depp defamation trial coming up starting today. Wow. <laughs> so he's out there in everything. So the point is, he's a proponent of free discourse in a private setting. Now, what Elon Musk is talking about in terms of truncating speech on Twitter, the government couldn't do that. Mm. The government could say you can't. They, they could not ban Trump. They could not ban people's political speech. No way. The First Amendment protects that. But private business, you can for sure. No shirt, no shoes, no service, right? That's discriminatory, but it's not based upon race, religion, or gender. Mm -hmm. So I think he can make a big difference because he's a big voice with unfettered speech. And I think a lot of the speech that Twitter through Jack Dorsey may have curtailed, I think Elon Musk may make a might make a difference in that regard. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens with Twitter moving on now that there's been these adjustments. And Nick's hot topic, the infamous Will Smith, Chris Rock, Oscar slap. What should have been done <laughs> legally? It's such a hot topic, but I mean, a lot of people are on different points of views, but what should, could have been done legally in that situation when it happened? Right, there's three things. There's criminal, there's administrative, and then there's personal. The criminal is, it is an assault, which is the apprehension of harmful or offensive contact. In other words, you know it's coming, and then the battery, which is the hit. Right. So that is clearly an assault and battery. It's criminal, no question about it. Now, they said that Chris Rock didn't want to press charges. Well, usually what that means is, is that when you have an assault and battery, there's only two witnesses, the victim and the person that ultimately perpetrated the assault and battery. In this case, there's, there's, we, the witness is everybody. Yeah. So when they don't want to press charges because Chris Rock says he doesn't want to, that doesn't work mm -hmm. because it is violating the law of the state of California, not against Chris Rock. And so ultimately, I think they should have prosecuted him, probably not. Administratively, he's 10 years banned from the academies. Right. And then personally, I think his wife loves him more. His children are proud. They're mm -hmm. saying, you know, this is how you do it type thing, which I think is kind of reprehensible. And then there's the business aspect of it, and he's probably going to lose a lot of roles as a result. Yeah, as we know, some of them have been postponed for the moment, too, as well. He had a movie on Netflix that's being postponed, so it's going to be interesting to see how things play out. And I wanted to yeah. ask another celebrity topic that's hot topic is Alec Baldwin. Unfortunately, there was a shooting on his set, Russ, but he's being very vocal on social media. What are your thoughts on that? You're already rolling your eyes, so it sounds like not good. If he were my client, the Fifth Amendment says you have a right to remain silent. You remain silent. You're under investigation for manslaughter. You kill somebody as the producer and the person with the gun on the set of Rust, and you won't shut up. And then you go on Instagram with your wife and show how great your kids are and you're doing trick-or-treating. Go away, because somebody lost their mother, somebody lost their wife. You're being investigated for manslaughter, which Kim Potter 
accidentally shot somebody, thought it was a taser in her hand, and she ended up killing uh, Dante Wright. Yeah. And she got two years. He's facing the same thing, plus multi-million dollar lawsuit, so he needs to be quiet. Exercise your Fifth Amendment right. Go away to Mallorca. Hang out with your uh, hilarious family in yeah. Spain. Yeah. <laughs> and just don't talk to anybody for a couple years until this blows over, but he's not following my advice. Yeah, and to your point, such a sensitive issue. So like you <sighs> said, keeping silence right now when the family's going through a lot, it's so important. Just a, a personal, you know, sensibility yeah. of making sure you're not upsetting a nine-year-old whose mother you shot. Right. Period. Right. All righty. And last one, um, I also wanted to ask you, Craig, how can Ashton and Price help those who are dealing with personal injury law? You're coming here giving us a lot of great advice, but why should our viewers go to you? Well, basically, we tell our clients, look, it's not about money. It's about your health. And if you saw what happened with Tiger Woods, he had an accident a year ago with major bones, he almost had his right leg amputated, but he got great medical care. Next thing you know, he made the cut in the masters. So when people come to us with serious injury, we give them the best medical care. And if they get their life back, the legal issues take care of themselves. All right, Craig, we gotta have you back on. I like this, I like yeah, talking to you. Yeah, well. It's gotta be the bow tie, right? Yeah, it's gotta be the bow tie. The bow tie, <laughs> you know, I, I told him I'm meeting a celebrity. I always see his commercials. Well, for more legal advice on personal injury incidents, visit ashtonandprice.com. YCL will be right back.